Now it's my pleasure to invite the president of the Nigerian Economic Society, Professor Adiola Adenikiju, to give the welcome address. Thank you very much, Madam. Uh, welcome and recognize also uh, the chairperson, chairperson of the event and the DG Nisa, uh, the vice chairman and the chief host uh, represented, um, the governor of the central bank. So when the author is speaking today, he's going to be speaking as the governor of the central bank. So that's why he's saying it's the governor that it. So you can quote it that way. So we did not just go and bring some. The governor has designated somebody to pick on his behalf. And uh, the DVC, I can't thank you so very much, man. The librarian, thank you so very much. I also thank this. Economy. For the first 50 years of its existence, the Department of Economics University of Ibadan hosted the next secretariat. So holding this event in Ibadan today is a kind of homecoming to the society. I want to thank the Dean of the Faculty of Economics and Management Sciences, the Head of the Department of Economics, and the Director of the CBN Center of Excellence for their support in hosting today's event. The choice of today's theme is apt it is perhaps the most important issue in Nigeria today. From Maso Rock to the CBN headquarters and NNPC Towers, from Marina Street in Lagos to Bodija Market in Ibadan, the fish seller in Yanagoa, to Suya seller in Sokoto, to the farmer in Makodi, the exchange rate is on the lips of everyone. Hence the choice of the topic for the 2024 next public lecture. The subject of foreign exchanges within the ambit of economics. The exchange rate is a price. However, for an import dependent economy like ours, it's a price that deflates other prices in the economy, either the product market, the money market, and the factor markets. The spike in inflation in the last few months, in particular, has been largely driven by the exchange rate. The pass through effect from the exchange rate to other pri prices is quite high. The government, especially the CBN, has reacted to the sharp and persistent devaluation of the Naira with a rush of circular and policies. At times, some of us worry that the effects of a particular policy have not been assessed before others are quickly thrown into the mix. This action has a tendency to add to certainty and the flight to safety postures of economic agents who continue to hold dollars outside the banking system. Madam Chairman, today's event is organized by NENS, the known body of economists, to add its voice and its expertise to the ongoing debate as to the underlying costs, impacts, and solutions to the ongoing volatility in the foreign exchange market. No other professional body is so equipped like the NENS to provide solutions to what has been a major source of concern to the economy. The government should not ignore the economists, as seems to be the case currently. We are to the economy what the MBA is to law and what the NME is to medicine. The government should consult and listen to economists in profiling policies to address the ongoing economic challenges that confront the country today. 
the analysis of substitution for us in the economic policy space is very inelastic. The NES is willing and ready to collaborate with the CBN and other agencies of government towards resolving our current economic challenges. We understand the workings of the economy. We also possess the knowledge of the Nigerian economy that no foreign expert has. Foreign exchange determination is one of the most restricted areas in macroeconomics. There are several theories in the literature on foreign exchange markets. Purchase power parity, interest rate parity, international fissure effect theory, unbiased forward risk theory, and the mid parity theory. These various models, including the model Fleming models and their variants, were developed after the collapse of the fees exchange rate system in the early 70s. The theory showed that the long run equilibrium of the exchange rate is influenced not only by the demand and supply factors, but also by expectations and policy decisions. With the enormous growth of capital and monetary markets and financial technology, huge amounts of money can move out from one currency to other currencies very speedily. Speculators, who I believe have played a huge role in the current market situation in Nigeria, can switch from one currency to other currencies based on the expected rates of return of holding one currency to another. For instance, if speculators expect the Naira to continue to depreciate against the dollar, based on current economy reality, their perceptions on the ability of the central bank to sustain liquidity the, in the market, and low expectations about the future duration of the economy, then the current policy of the CBA, whatever they do, will not be able to signally shift the foreign exchange market in the near to medium term. In other words, holders of dollars will react less to what the CBA says or does in the short term, but rather on their expectations or interpretations of the coherence and integrity of the overall economic policies of the government. The line of our speakers today also show our deliberateness. The public lecturer is Professor Sabo Lofin, a Princeton graduate, professor of macroeconomics, developer of economics and econometrics. He has served as member of the Central Bank of Nigeria's board and the Monetary Policy Committee under three different CBN governors. Professor Lofi led a team that made projections for the Nigeria and Africa at the United Nations League project for over two decades. He has written extensively and published books on macroeconomics. He is a past president and a fellow of the Nigerian Economic Society. He is a well qualified authority on the subject of foreign exchange and its interactions with the Nigerian with the macroeconomy. We have two eminent discussants, Mr. Bisman Rewane and Dr. Tokwe Fashua. Mr. Rewaden is an alumnus of the UI Department of Economics. He is undoubtedly one of the most prominent public policy analysts in Nigeria today. He was a member of the Presidential Economic Advisory Team under former President Buhari. He is also the CEO of the Financial Derivatives uh, Company Limited. Our second discussant, Dr. Tokwe Fashua, is a former presidential candidate and current special advisor to the President on Economic Affairs in the Vice President's Office. He's an economist, a chartered accountant, and public policy analyst. He has over 30 years' experience in banking, management, consulting, and research. We have also invited members of the organized labor, manufacturing associations of Nigeria, chambers of commerce and industry, shippers, council, and other important trade associations. Our keynote speaker is Mr. Olaya Lemikodoso Akadoso, the governor of the CBN. After the president, Mr. Akadoso, is perhaps the next most famous name in Nigeria today. He occupied a very uneasy seat as the governor of the CBN at this very difficult and challenging social economic time in Nigeria. However, maybe like Mr. President, we should not pity him because he asked for the job. I'm therefore pleased to welcome the governor, his representative, and his team to this event. I, I welcome our chief post and the vice chancellor, Professor Kadi Adeboale, who is able to be here, and the chairperson, Professor Antonia Simbini the first female DJ of the Nigerian Institute of Social and Economic Research. We are welcome, man. I also welcome our distinct guests of honor online and in the hall this afternoon. I welcome very senior members of the university who are with us today. I must also welcome next members from the various chapters who are here and who have joined online. I have no doubt that this meeting will throw fresh and new perspectives on the foreign exchange problems confronting us. Once again, it is my delight to welcome you all to this important discourse and engagements. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. God bless Nigeria.